Hello Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. So this could be somebody who has been in a relationship with you. You might be in a relationship still. It could also be a situationship. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. This could also be somebody who you've had an exchange of glances with. So somebody may have glanced at you, they may have gazed, and you know that there's something special there, but no one's speaking up. Hmm. These are complicated feelings. My, my. Just give me a few seconds to um, understand this. It's a very different kind of arrangement of cards. Okay. First card's the strongest here. You have laughter, followed by betrayal. Then you have cycles, pleasure, nourishment, play, doubt, grief, illusion under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Aquarius, the connection that I have with you is very fun. You make my heart happy. You know how to make me laugh. At times, I do feel that you are my best friend, somebody who I can trust with my life, somebody who is like a ray of sunshine on this cloudy day. And as soon as you come into my life, as soon as you walk into the room, it's like there is sunshine everywhere. You know how to make me laugh. You bring light into my life. And I do cherish that feeling of friendship. Although I know that in this connection, it seems to you that I have been a stranger. I have betrayed you. I've hurt you. I've caused you pain because you actually trusted me. And I know I shouldn't have done what I did. But I did it. Do I feel regret? I do. You thought you knew me when in actual fact you never really knew me at all. At least that's what it seems to you. I was truthful to some degree, but not 100% the way that you wanted me to. I know what I've done has broken this faith, broken this trust that we have. And now it's like I'm a stranger. It's as if you never really knew me at all. And because of what happened, it goes on and on in my mind in a cycle. It does not stop. I obsess over it. I think about it constantly. It haunts me, what I did to you. What I did to you was not right because I took a lot of pleasure. Physical pleasure and even spiritual pleasure I have felt, but more of the physical. Being with you is so pleasurable. It makes my body feel good. 
thinking about you makes my mind feel happy, aroused. And now I realize that, Aquarius, you are this person who is truly the complete package. Emotionally, spiritually, and physically. You have all of these characteristics, all of the traits that I need. And you have this way of fulfilling me. There's a sense of fulfillment. There's this desire to be with someone who makes me feel so complete. And yet, I'm just a friend, a casual friend. Not somebody who has made a long-term impression in your heart and mind. And this is how I consider you as well. I love the mischief in your eyes. I love playing with you and having fun with you. I do enjoy that. But I doubt that anything will happen beyond this. Because what I did to you feels unforgivable. I grieve over this now. I finally have come to realize that what I did was wrong. There is remorse. There are feelings of regret. My heart yearns for you, but it hurts. I know what I did to you broke you. And I know now that it wasn't right. But I don't know what to do. I don't know how to approach you. Things went so far that it's hard for me to go back and fix anything. I now feel regret, remorse, sorrow, guilt, sadness and melancholy. And I grieve as though I've lost something so precious in my life. And you were once that shining star in the darkness. And I'm afraid that I'm losing you now. Even the little bit of hope that I had left, that is fading. And if I lose you, which is my shining star, my world will be left in darkness. I didn't realize this before. Maybe it's too late. But I feel this now. Overall, so much has happened that I now have to hide behind a false mask, behind a veil, not telling you what I truly feel, not telling you what the truth is on the inside, not telling you the things that I hide. There are certain things that have changed me. One of them was you. But so much bad has happened, bad blood, that finding a way to fix this situation, for me, at this point is virtually impossible. Even though I want you in my life as a best friend, and hopefully one day even more, Wow, Aquarius. Whew. I'm seeing a vision right now of a rope that used to be very strong, very big, thick rope. And what happened is this person now has slipped all the way down and only a small single thread of that rope is what they're holding on to. They feel like they're about to fall Underneath them, I see lava. They are afraid of falling into hell because with you, they feel like everything is heaven. They're holding on by a single thread, just hoping. So Aquarius, let me know what happened. This is huge. So there has been some type of betrayal and unfortunately, with these cards, when I have the laughter card and the play card, 
Those for me are friendship cards. Then we have the pleasure card, which is also lustful. Now, for me, that's lustful in this context. Now, with the laughter, so you have the friends with lust, meaning friends with benefits. The majority of you may have been in some type of a connection where you thought that the both of you were in love, or maybe it was going to go further. Yet, it did not. It's almost as if this person may have misled you and you were under a different impression. That is something that I'm getting from here with these specific cards. And at this point, you don't know where you're headed. At least the majority of you. You don't know what to do, where to go, where this entire situation is headed because it's as if the road ahead is just it's just dark. You don't know what this person's next move is going to be. And I understand that because they are really embarrassed and they're not shy, but they're just embarrassed and they don't know how to come into the light and talk to you because of what they did to you. You have betrayal and then you have grief. So they are grieving of the fact that they betrayed you and they're doubting with the doubt card that anything here will work out. They're doubting this. And because of all these hard feelings, they're hiding behind a, a mask. They're not telling you the truth. Not out of ego and pride, no. Out of the feeling of hopelessness and despair. They don't feel like anything that they will put their effort into will come to fruition. They don't think that will happen. Okay. That's what they're feeling currently, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Did that resonate with anybody? All right. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. So this is any issues that may have occurred in the first place. When things started to become very sour in this connection, when things started to go downhill, we have the Three of Coins. Oh boy, oh boy, the Power Card. And then you have the Power Card. Okay, this is a pretty big deal. Power Card is a lot of things I've noticed as I, as I do these readings. I've noticed that this has a lot of meaning. Um, so just to let you know in advance, Power Card talks about um, for me in this deck, these are, this is either one person or many people or an organization that is rest restricting this person, your person of interest, um, restricting them from coming towards you, either directly or indirectly. That's what that is. So it could be an organization, maybe they're not allowed to transfer very far away um, because they want to be with you, but they are stuck in, in a job and they're not able to transfer to that area. That's one thing because they're following some rules. There's some power above them. Could also be, for example, somebody lives with their parents um, in a basement apartment and they are not able to provide for you or be with you or invite you over because this person is basically living with their parents. That's just an example, right? But these are scenarios where there's people on top here that have authority either people or this could be an organization that is not allowing this person to come to you the way that you would like to. Now, this happened in the past, but I'm still sensing that this is a problem even now. It's even a problem right now. All right, with the three of coins, let's have a look at what that is all about. The three of coins does talk about how when things were okay, they were pretty okay, they were progressing. But then all of a sudden, this person decided to wonder if everything that they're manifesting will come to fruition. Will it come true? Will whatever it is that they want to construct within this connection, will it work out? They were rechecking their plans for expansion. They were asking themselves, are they even practical? What they did was Oh boy, time to confer with those who may be more experienced. 
Aquarius, you're dealing with a person, just a few of you, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but you're dealing with a person who was not emotionally mature enough to know what's right and wrong in relationships. So they had to talk to people who were more experienced than they were. Now this is a huge deal because look at this you have the power card you have other people right there that are in power so this person wanted to talk to somebody who was more experienced who has more power and there you are they talked to somebody who was in power or maybe a couple maybe a mother and father it could have been anybody but this is a problem because this means that this person may have seemed to you as emotionally mature but the truth is they were not emotionally mature they were emotionally immature in terms of relationships they were inexperienced and that is what happened here that that feeling that situation that they were in where there's that inexperience all of that they had to talk to somebody else in order to gain that experience through them through their eyes and when they did this of course they may tell your person of interest topic A, B, and C. But just to add a little spice, they may add X, Y, and Z in there too. Right? Whatever this person asked, yes, they probably told them that, but they probably added some extra information here, which made their mind a little bit more confused. The question of this card, the main question here is, is it even practical? The question is practical. So whoever they are with, or whatever organization they were with, the answer was no. You and Aquarius are not practical. You are not living in reality. You are not planning properly. That is something that this person was going through. And that is why things started to go downhill for the both of you. Here we have power. The power card here talks about oppressed by another person's authority or power, having insecurities within themselves, being passive aggressive, and someone here using power to manipulate others for their personal gain. This is huge. This is definitely somebody, Aquarius, who unfortunately may not be so independent emotionally, maybe physically, financially maybe. And they were depending on other people, other people to help them, other people to give them good advice, other people to shelter them. This is a problem because you wanted somebody who was a bit more independent, who is a free thinker, who has an open mind and you know makes their own decisions. However, this person did what they did because they were simply inexperienced. From their point of view, Aquarius, they actually did the best that they could. They talked to the people that they could trust. Okay? They didn't do this deliberately or on purpose. The problem is the people that gave them the information, they were the ones that are a bit cunning, a bit clever, and maybe even selfish, maybe even jealous. You have to be yourself clever. You can't be so naive that you talk to people who you know are stabbing you behind the back. People aren't happy when they see someone else happy. These days. Personally, and many people out there that are good people. I, I'm happy when I see people that are happy. It makes my heart happy. But there are some people out there with that jealous streak that if I'm not happy, they can't be happy. And so, with a smile on their face, they'll be stabbing you behind the back. Saying one thing, but actually doing something else. What I'm seeing is this analogy. There's a tree. And this person comes in front and gives you water. You are the tree. However, they also have a bunch of friends that come behind the tree and start snipping the roots of the tree. The tree thinks, oh wow, this person really loves me, they're giving me water. But little did they realize that while they're distracting them, there's people that are coming behind the tree and cutting the roots. 
at one point that tree will fall. You and this person, specifically this person, has to be very careful who you trust. That is the problem here. Oh my God. That's just nasty. You shouldn't do that. That's just mean. People shouldn't be like this. There needs to be more happiness and love and compassion around the world. Not bringing each other down. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at this. Um, these are... So this is the deck. This is too many. I'm putting them back. Um, this is the way I read, everybody. Okay, I just pick the top card that has the most amount of energy. If anything else is meant to come out, it will come out. I do not channel through spirit. I channel through my higher self. This is me. The only time I channel is in the end when I deal with the angels. That's it. Okay? So there's no spirit giving you an answer. This is me giving you answers. This is my higher self. Okay. We have here the Seven of Swords, and these cards are to tell you exactly, okay, um, what it is that this person has maybe planned, maybe their intentions, um, their actions that they may take towards you, okay? And hopefully nobody ever sees any orbs. I don't want any orbs in my room. I see videos with so many orbs. Oh, not healthy. It's not healthy because many of them are negative energies that do do this and they make you sick. If any of you feel that you have paranormal activities or some type of negative energy, definitely have a look on my website. I have negative energy removal that is um, a checkup that I have to see what you have in your home. Also, the Holy Light Package is a self-help guide for you to get rid of negative energies from around your home, around your aura, and inside of your body. I also have a chakra checkup, which kind of looks into what you have specifically in terms of demons, evil spirits, jinns. So I, I know how to do this. That's why I'm mentioning um, things such as those. So if some of you do feel that, you know, there's a little strangeness going on, or maybe somebody gave you the evil eye, or ever since you met that person, your life has just been hell, <laughs> um, definitely go through those, read through them. It's on my website. If you think that it'll be helpful, then definitely um, you can place an order. Okay, these cards are really different, Aquarius. This entire reading is quite different. There's a different vibe to this reading. <sighs> this person has been told not to talk to you. There's been restrictions here, tradition. There's something going on here where they may want to be with you. Yes, they do. They want to be with you. They find you extremely attractive. However, the people and the surrounding circumstances are just not allowing it to happen. And for that reason, they want to sneakily come back into your life. They want to, they want to do this behind the scenes. Why do they want to do this? Because honestly, they can't resist you. That's sweet. You know, even if like a bunch of people, relatives, fr friends, their society, whatever they're in, um, if, if any, everybody's saying, no, 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 this is not the right person for you, this person really, really wants to still be with you. They do not want to listen to the other people anymore. That's determination. Magician is next. Yes, this person is trying to manifest you into their life. They're trying to manifest you. They want you in their life. They want to know what they can do to make things better between the both of you. They want to give you everything. The magician has all of the potential sweets, everything, everything. We have like the cup, we have the, the wand, we have the sword. We have all of this, all of the things. So this person wants to give you everything. And by doing that, they're hoping to get everything from you too in terms of your emotions, your heart. Um, we have the King of Wands. There could be a complication here where they think that you are somehow unavailable. But do they love you passionately? Yes, they do. Right now, are they able to think of a plan or to try to move forward in this connection? 
there is an issue. The issue is that they have blocked off their heart. They've blindfolded themselves. They can't see anything. They can't hear anything. They are in denial. They don't want to move forward. But do they have that love for you on the inside? Yes, they do. Ultimately, the Six of Wands, does this person have intention? Yes, they do. Will they take action? Not yet. Not yet. Are they making plans? They're getting there. But do they have that intention of wanting to come back into your life? Six of Wands says yes. This person really has been thinking about you, longing for you. And if this is somebody who has left your life for some time and they were completely absent, like if they ghosted you, then this card for me does talk about how this individual is going to want to come back and basically win your heart. They want to do that. They need to do that. That's what they feel. But in the meantime, they're going to try to be clever, try to think of ways how they can communicate with you even though they have that power and that authority over them that are, that's telling them no, it's not a good idea to be with Aquarius. So this is it. Many of you may resonate with this. Some of you might not. And some of you that may not, you might not even know that this person's being influenced by others. So just, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It's, um, it's very particular, this particular reading. It's very targeted. And it's very different. These cards, you'll, you'll see, I've never actually had this type of combination before. These cards are very different. And what I'm sensing is that the energy is quite different because the approach in this connection has changed. Um, <clears throat> before it was just this person, but now it's not this person anymore. Now it's other people, other factors. All right. Just going to do a quick prayer. I have here Archangel Answer cards. <clears throat> so this is beautiful. You have success and then you have romance. Wow. So this is a past life connection. You've either been twin flames, you are still twin flames, soulmates or karmic partners. I have noticed that if your karma is uh, fixed, if somebody has healed it, you then actually transition into a soulmate connection, which is really cool. I didn't know that until I started, le um, started recently doing um, more of my readings for my past life readings. So I have noticed a difference in that. There's, there's a shift, so that can happen as well. So it's not, you know, if somebody is a karmic partner, it's okay because if both of you work on it together, you can actually turn into soulmates. Then you are no longer karmic partners. Okay. Compromise. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's a little complicated, Aquarius. So this is the message. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So they are saying that there will be success and there can be success in this connection. You both have a spiritually based romantic connection. You are either soulmates, karmic partners, twin flames, maybe even more. But there is something here where you have had a past life together. They're telling you to reconsider what it is that you were thinking, that you were going to do, any actions that you were going to take, any words that you were going to speak. Think about it twice. Don't just rush into something, okay? Within the next few weeks or months, you're going to start seeing signs. This could be signs and synchronicities, simply telling you, the universe is simply telling you. And by the universe, I mean celestial beings that are on a heavenly plane. So they are um, 
what you would call the good guys. Good guys in the sense that they allow you to elevate. They allow you to have eternal life, eternal life meaning your soul. Um, here, they are saying to look for signs, okay? You will see patterns. You'll see synchronicities, numbers, colors, names, um, those type of things. So that's just them letting you know that, you know, you're on track, okay? There's another thing here, however. It's also important to look for signs that are red flags. There's certain things, certain people that you may need to avoid. So start paying attention to literally everybody that you have consulted with and see, you know, where are their hearts really? Because some people are not, they don't have good intentions towards you. Here we also have, they want you to remain positive, which is perfect. Um, and there will be a compromise that's needed if you want this connection to continue. A compromise is needed. So, you know, let's say if they are not able to change their ways or their beliefs. Well, at that point, then you have to adjust. And they have to adjust a little bit. Maybe they don't have to put pressure on you regarding their beliefs. But that itself is a compromise. They keep their issues to themselves. And both of you just speak the language of love. And that's it. That's all you need. Compromise is needed. So you let go of a little bit. They let go. You accommodate them. They accommodate you. And then you both meet in the middle. If you want this connection to work, a compromise is definitely needed. Just keep in mind that it's not just you that needs to change. No, this person has to change if you want things to work out. If they don't change, then most likely it won't be successful. They need to change and they need to accommodate you and adjust accordingly. For now, they are telling you to choose a new direction. So choose a different path, choose a different method of approach towards this person. Many things have happened, many things have changed, many things can change. But it's important that you stay focused and that you know that the direction that you have, the destination that you have, will still be the same. But the direction in getting there, meaning the route, the road, that might need to change. You could still get to the same place through many ways. Just like sometimes you can get to an answer in mathematics through different methods. So it's all about the destination. Do I see something positive here? I do, but I do see struggle and I see external struggle. So pay attention to your own intuition. Pay attention to what this person is saying. And definitely reconsider what it is that you were thinking and saying towards this person, what you were going to do. They are saying there's going to be success, which is good. If you tried any old methods that, you know, you keep like banging your head against the wall, like you just keep doing the same thing, let's not do that. If you've approached this person in one way, this time try to change things up. Don't approach them in that way again. See what the reaction is. If you keep repeating the same type of method, you will get the same result. If you change your method, the result will be slightly different. Now I wanted to also mention with Remain Positive, you can go to my website to have a look at any negative energy related issues. You can get the um, Holy Light Package, which is a self-help guide to allow more positive energy to come into your life by removing negative energy. Also, I have the Chakra Checkup, which is to get rid of negative energies from your home, around your aura, and then inside of your, inside of your body, which are your chakras. So I'm able to tell you what you have in terms of entities and how many. And I teach you how to get rid of them. The only way you can stay positive is by getting rid of the negative. The negative energies, energies itself, are entities. And entities are, they have force. And the force pushes goodness and positivity away from you. So how can you manifest something if you have negative energies all around you? You can't. You have to get rid of that damn shit and then you have an open road for all that goodness to come in. These things act like big boulders, big rocks on a roadway. Big, big rocks. How can you get that goodness? Because there's nothing coming on that road. They are blocking it. You need to get rid of those things in order to have anything good. Um, you know, when you, when you get rid of negative energies, anything that is owed to you karmically, anything that is written in your original book of life that God has written, 
that will come true. At the very least, that will come true. But for now, for some of you, there's such like bad luck, right? It's not that bad luck. It's negative energies transfer it. They transform it into bad luck. Any Anything good that's coming to you, they will block it. And then so you just assume that you're, you have bad luck. Luck itself is an energy force. And good luck and bad luck is energy. It's just energy. Energy meaning there's entities behind it that actually have force. And they have the will. You command them. You command them to do this or do that. So you have that power to do this. My dear Aquarius, that is your reading. Stay positive. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Also, if you are near people who are negative and always putting you down, don't listen to them. Start keeping your distance from people that are negative because they also have, they radiate this negative energy and then it can be absorbed into your own aura and then you start to kind of get infected in that way energetically. All right. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Do let me know if any of you resonated with this reading. What I do see is external parties kind of pushing their way through. It's not good. All right then. Thank you once again for tuning in. Um, definitely have a look at my other uh, channel, my other YouTube channel, which is Asnoitia Audio. I have a few videos that I've uploaded um, last time I did, and you may find them to be um, informational, quite helpful. All right. You all take care and stay safe. Bye now.